What's up everyone, photographer Ronix from Only Photography and today we're going to be learning about the best way or the best technique of how to whiten the eyes and teeth in Photoshop. So this story today is about how to whiten eyes and teeth in Photoshop. So for this image we only have eyes so it is the same method you're going to be using for doing the eye and teeth whitening in Photoshop. So this is one of the best methods I use and I've been getting so many questions about how I do whiten eyes and teeth in Photoshop. So this tutorial is for those who have been asking and usually I use the camera raw filter in Photoshop. So this tutorial is basically uh, the camera raw method of whitening the eyes and teeth in Photoshop. So let's kick in and we learn about this uh, beautiful method. And uh, you can see, yeah, this image, I just had to crop it because yeah, these are my eyes. So it was, a half body portrait so i just had to crop into the eyes so i can do a tutorial about this so yeah these are my eyes so we're going to first of all uh duplicate the background layer once by clicking ctrl j because uh, we want to have a backup so just click ctrl j on the keyboard so i'm using an older version i'm sorry about the image quality but just want to show you guys the technique uh we do use for whitening the eyes and teeth so I'm using a Photoshop CC 2017 and yeah, still my camera is for 2017. So if I told you have a newer version, you'll have to bear with me and I look for the options because I'm not well conversant of where the options are for the new camera. Roll. So let's, enough for the talking, let's uh, go to camera. Roll. So come right here to filter and click on camera roll filter. So it is going to open automatically and uh, basically this is are uh, we going to be using uh, this adjustment brush or you can just click k on the keyboard so this is the, what you're going to be using so when you click on it uh, these are the settings for uh, your brush you can see uh, these different sliders so what i'm going to do right now i am going to uh i'm going to reset everything in this slider so that we can learn about how to set this because it is these settings that we use to a uh, brush on the white area of the eye and teeth so for this tutorial it is for only the eyes and so remember these eyes have uh, some sort of uh, warm tones or some yellow and red you can see so in order to uh, delete or do away with this or cool down these uh warm tones in the eyes remember what you're going to do we are going to first of all uh pull down the temperatures so you shouldn't worry about uh, this specific slider so i'm going to just leave it right there so basically what I, I usually prefer doing is i prefer to pump up the tint because uh most of the times we have some greens in the eyes so for my tints i just prefer to uh, knock them all the way up so I just prefer to knock them all the way up. I think uh, at around 73 because I want to do away with the green colors uh, that are usually in the eyes. So uh, for these two sliders, I uh, will be dealing with uh, the colors that are cast in the eyes. So remember, we're going to be uh, cooling down and whitening the eyes. So now remember, we want to brighten the eyes. So just come to your highlights and I just pull this slider up around five so you can see i've skipped the exposure because uh it doesn't really work well for uh with this adjustment brush so i'm going to come to my whites and i'm also going to knock them up to around five uh, i've skipped the shadows too so uh for these other sliders just leave them in their default so just come right down here and uh, now this is where the trick really happens so Remember, we are going to be removing uh, most of the colors from uh, the eyes right here. So, remember, removing colors, we just uh, desaturate. So, we are going to uh, desaturate. I think we are going to leave it at around a uh, negative 71. So, I think we are done uh, setting our adjustment brush, you can see. So, for this step, Remember it now, you have to be really careful. Remember this brush is uh, already desaturated. So if at all 
let me say I paint right here. You can see it has turned this uh, particular area into a black and white or gray in color. Remember, it is a desaturated brush and it is uh, a cold brush. You can see uh, right above here it is cool. So we are going to undo that by clicking Ctrl Z. And now just come and paint over uh, the white area. Like just paint over only and only uh, the white part or the white area of the eye. So you can see I'm uh, desisting from painting right here. And here because if I told you move it up to these ends, I uh, to remove the natural nature of uh, the whiteness in the eyes and uh, the eyes will kind of look robotic in color or in nature. So just come and only paint uh, over the white area of the eye. So it is the same method you have to use when you are uh, doing the teeth whitening. Just paint over a single tooth at, at a time uh, to whiten it up. And remember, if I told you just a uh, drug, it is going to desaturate the gums too. So this is the same method we are using for the eye whitening. So you can see right now, uh, the eyes are really turning nice and white in color. You can see how beautiful this is. And it's just a simple step. So uh, if I told you, you only have to set your adjustment brush twice. So every time you open up uh, your camera filter, uh, your adjustment brush is going to be really already set to these values so you only have to set it once so you can as well come and enhance this highlight uh, in the eye and give that eye a more professional look so just click ok so you can see uh, this is the before after before after you can see how beautiful we have just whitened these eyes and if at all you feel it is too much for your liking just come to the opacity and uh, reduce on the opacity of uh, that effect to uh, the one of your liking. So for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to leave it at 100% so that you guys can see uh, the before and the after, before, after. So this is the best way of whitening eyes in Photoshop using the camera raw filter and using the adjustment brush in Photoshop. So if I told you have this, tu this tutorial, don't forget to like and don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section to motivate me to keep on dropping more content for you guys on this channel. I am Ronix from Ronix Photography and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in yet another retouching tutorial on this channel and stay safe.